Hey everyone, today I have a quick email tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to add a signature in Outlook online to your email address. We'll also show you how to add links and logos to that signature. It's really quite easy to do. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Every Day and we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right over to my Outlook email and show you exactly how to add that signature. All right, so go ahead and load up Outlook online on your computer and load up your email and it should look something like this once it's all logged in. And the first thing we need to do is go ahead and find the settings here in Outlook. So to find the settings in the top right hand corner in this blue bar, you'll see a little gear or sprocket. And when you hover over that, it says settings. You can left click on that with your mouse. That's actually gonna bring up the quick settings for Outlook, but we need to find the full settings for Outlook. So in this, Quick settings here at the very bottom, you're gonna see an option that says view all Outlook settings at the very bottom here. Just go ahead and left click on that. That's gonna bring up all the settings here in Outlook. So I'm gonna click on that and you can see all the settings for Outlook load up. Now the next option we need to select on the left hand side here, you're gonna see it says general, mail, calendar, people, etc. We wanna make sure mail is selected here and you can see it's currently selected and highlighted blue. In the next column, you'll see layout, compose and reply, attachments and rules, etc. We want to select compose and reply right here. So let's go ahead and click on that. So now you'll see an area come up here that says email signature. Now we'll get into that in just a moment, but right under that, there's a couple check boxes here. The first one says automatically include my signature on new messages that I compose. That'll put your signature on all your brand new messages. You want to make sure that's checked off if you want that. The second one says automatically include my signature on messages I forward or reply to. So if you'd like your signature to show up on forwards and replies, you can select the second one. I'm gonna leave that off for myself today. So let's go ahead and start working on our signature here. Then we'll show you how to add a link or a logo. So this is basically a word processor here. You can type in whatever you like. I'm gonna just type in something. Ken loves to travel and maybe have a phone number. type that in maybe you have an email address you can type all that in there now again you can make adjustments to this so if you highlight it you can um, you can change the font here so if you'd like to make it Cambria or Century Gothic you can do whatever you like I'll just change it to Cambria maybe I want to adjust the size down to 16 so it's a little bit bigger I can make it bold I can make it italic I can underline it if I like. You can also highlight it or change the font color. And I'll let you play around with this on your own. Maybe I'll change mine to blue, just like that. So now I've got some text in there, but we also wanna add a link to maybe our website. So we can just go ahead and start typing that in here. So maybe my website is northernvikingexplorer.com. I can just type that in. Now to make this a link, you can actually just highlight that just like that. And you'll see a little um, link logo, insert link here in the top right hand corner of the word processing area. You can just go ahead and left click on that. And that's gonna bring up this option to insert link. So you can actually um, put your display name, what you want it to say. Maybe you don't want it to be the website. Maybe you just want it to say something else. And then the URL down here. So I'm gonna actually take the URL and copy that and paste it down here. But, and maybe I'm gonna change this to nor, or maybe I'll say visit Northern Viking Explorer website. Just like that. So once we've got in whatever we'd like it to say, so it'll display that and this will be the URL. We can just go ahead and hit OK. And you can see it changed it to visit Northern Viking Explorer website. It's underlined. So now when people will click on that, it'll take them right to the website. And now maybe we want our logo down below that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go to the next line. Maybe I'll leave another space. And you'll see this option right here that says in insert picture in line. We can go ahead and left click on that. And this will allow us to search our computer for an image. So you can see I have my logo right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and search for your image or your logo on your computer. And then just go ahead and hit open. And it's gonna bring that logo right into our email. Now is very big. I want to shrink that down. So if I scroll down, let's see here. 
um, and I click on it, you'll see when you click on your image, there's these little handles. There's a blue one here and here. I can actually take those and hold down my left mouse button and shrink it right in just like that. So I can make it nice and small, adjust it to whatever size I want, just like that. So now my signature has Ken Loves to Travel the World, the phone number, email address, a link, as well as my logo. Now once you've got it exactly how you want it, I'll let you play around with it on your own. Just go ahead and hit save in the bottom right hand corner. Otherwise you're gonna have to do this all over again. So go ahead and hit save and it's gonna save that. And we're just gonna go back out and create an email here so you can see what it looks like on the other end. So let me close this down and I'm gonna create a new message. You can see it put all that information in there and I'm gonna send this to, we'll send it to that email address and we'll put this as a test. And let's go ahead and send that email and head on over and have a look at that on my other email. All right, so the email popped up here. Let's go ahead and open that up. You can see the signature is all there, just how we made it. And we'll click on my website link here and see if that works as well. Perfect, that loaded up right away. So it works exactly as it should. And it's really that simple to add a signature in Outlook Online to your email address. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you add a signature in Outlook Online to your email address with some links or a logo. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.